Hey wonderful people, few days back I think I have done a video of criminally underrated 10 fragrances and I, I promised to you that I was going to be doing a follow-up video on that and I believe I'm going to be doing a third part of that as well because there are a lot of fragrances that are not getting so much love or talk in the fragrance community people are mostly busy with latest releases like Versace, Eros, Flame I understand that you know it's always have to be about moving forward and uh, progressing but sometimes you have to admit you know like there are a lot of good fragrances that you overlook because of some new releases which are not as good as uh, the older ones because first of all the brand new ones are going to be pricier than the older one uh, second of all some of the fragrances they are actually going to be getting hyped but later on the hype is going to die and stuff so i don't want to be blaming new fragrances because new fragrances become old at some point and some of them are actually good but i'm going to show you some of my uh, fragrances from collection 10 fragrances and I'm gonna be mixing it up some new some old some of them I recently reviewed some of them I haven't and uh, some of them are reviewed long time ago so bear in mind the those things and I'm gonna be showing 10 fragrances that are good uh, good value for money and they smell nice they're unique and uh, you can look at these just to get a different uh, taste you know something like that so I'll start with no honorable mention Number 10, I'm going to be starting with this fragrance. It used to have a good fan following back in the time. Very interesting one, Lolita Lempica All Masculine. So back in the time, it used to come with, not with the cap. The older one used to come with the atomizer sprayer, okay, built-in sprayer. Now this one gives a sprayer. I like the sprayer. I never smelled the original one, but they said that was much stronger than this. But this fragrance right here, let me tell you one thing. Notes in these are licorice, mint, I think, anise, like star anise or something. And then boozy notes, there's also vanilla, there is also a lot of interesting praline, chocolate. So if you see all those complex notes, this is one of the most complex. I think it's Enic Menardo, I forgot who made this, but I'm sorry about that. But this is one of the most unique fragrances you're ever going to smell. For cold weather, this fragrance is so lovely. It leaves this nice scent trail. It smells kind of fresh up top with the mint, but it starts getting darker you know i reviewed it check out my review on this one the most unique is lolita Olympica or masculine now they have intense darker version and stuff but this one is really for me does the job so i'll look into the rest of them but this is my first one lolita Olympica or masculine i'll leave the link below of the full review okay number nine i'm going to show you cartier roadster sport this is one fragrance it's well known like three four years back if you talk about five years back People used to talk about this, reviewers used to talk about it. Nowadays, it's all about niche fragrances. But people do not talk about some great designers. Like this, at this point, is very inexpensive. You can have this for less than $40, I think. But what happens is you get, look at that bottle for the first, you know, like uh, first thing, you just look at the bottle. I reviewed this before. Look at the glass area. And this is actually supposed to replicate the dial of this Cartier watch of Paul Roadster. I also have the original Roadster, but this one is added mint. A lot more uh, sick I don't know if citrus is just mint heaven you know if you really like mint and lemon I think this got lemon in this a lot of citrus a lot of lemon uh, and a lot of mint so if you like that it's beautiful it has the backbone of the original roadster you can wear this for gym work professional uh, formal any occasion for the hot summer's day it's gonna be really really unique people can smell you it lasts a long time and people will actually give you compliments it smells very handsome and it's very unique the uniqueness factor you have to give it 10 for that okay so Cartier Roadster Sport is my number nine for the underrated fragrance number eight I'm gonna show you a great fragrance I think just Chad just reviewed it recent days and not many people talk about it this is one of the most underrated creeds I smelled this first time two years ago in perfume world in Bangladesh I thought this is like Mont Blanc individual was the difference it's just slightly spicier so I guess my nose was not uh, very mature at the time. What I picked from this is a beautiful cinnamon note and it adds with the spices, you know, the spicy cinnamon and it has those sweetness elements on a dry down smells very close to individual. But uh, something about this fragrance, if I do not compare with individual, which is much cheaper than this, much cheaper than this, you can, if you're looking for a bang for buck, you definitely should buy individual, hands down. But this one, if you're actually looking to buy a creed, Fragrance like Silver Mountain Water, this one, Himalaya, they do not get so much love. It's very, it's a big fact. This one I picked it up because it just blew my mind. It's how gorgeous this is. The spicy uh, cinnamon, it's just carrying on. It's just a sweet fragrance. You know, it, it's just, 
or cold weather it's like kind of cool breeze it's so beautiful to wear you holding the hand of your girlfriend and you're just walking in a park on the fall time and they're like the park is covered with leaves this kind of fragrance is just gonna be suiting that uh, ideal uh, the, the situation like it's ideal fragrance to wear in that kind of situation that's what I'm trying to say very underrated wear it see the write down and you see how nice this creed is original sample number eight um, number seven I'm gonna go with Bentley I know this fragrance is getting some talk it's underrated why am I putting it because I would like to give it a little bit more support and push uh, most of the love nowadays uh, I also re review it and hype it is Bentley for many intense this one is now well known people are loving this buying this talking up on this backup bottle but this one right here uh, same perfumer who did Gucci Purim one came back and did this I never smell Gucci Purim one but those who did like Mark and Dan Norton they said this is pretty similar so if you can find something similar to that for a fraction of a price and look at the bottle that you get there's another version you get like golden top but this one is much more cooler you get the spicy woody sort of a pencil shaving kind of smell it's very unique very niche like and it does last a fair bit of time but not a beast mode but you sometimes need that for a good office scent right Gucci Purim 2 Gucci Purim 1 I don't think they were they used to be that beast of a fragrance anyway but good Bentley Forman Absolute if you like woody kind of like little bit spicy look into this fragrance this is kind of smoky as well okay Bentley Forman Absolute is my number seven number six this fragrance got discontinued but you can still find for a very cheap price tag now and it's called Fan Defendi Assoluto I got this for the bottle I think this bottle looked really wicked and the juice color is really awesome okay that's kind of sounds silly you don't buy fragrance for that reason right but what it also gives you this they used to have, they also have Fan Defendi the EDT also they have Aqua version I never tried those I mean I tried the original one but didn't last on me that much this one the juice color it's a very one-dimensional kind of fragrance how this fragrance actually is kind of like a spicy uh, it has I think it's something like think of um, uh, Burberry's London think of something spicy kind of fragrance it has supposed to have that note of oud but the oud is not kind of Middle Eastern oud so it's a kind of spicy cinnamon uh, tobacco uh, I don't know if there's tobacco in this but there's a oud in this so it's a very mature kind of boozy on my skin comes a little bit boozy a little bit leathery it has a lot of aspects it's a very complex mature fragrance and cold weather it really lasts on me a long time so this is one of the most underrated ones I would say uh, some people may say it's not that good but you gotta smell fragrance before <laughs> making a conclusion right so to me Fendi Fendi Assoluto is one of the most underrated fragrance in my collection this is number six we have five to go number five I'm gonna go with this one I have to put it here this fragrance deserves a lot of love lot 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 of love perhaps should have made my number one but this is not in any order okay these are all equally underrated so this one very unique bottle so the notes in this are very interesting bergamot sort of like a grapefruit freshness up top with a lot of pepper and then you're gonna get start getting the charchi incense sort of smell and the incense in this is just that long lasting it's the fragrance is extremely long lasting projects beautifully kind of rockster sort of theme I really like that about this so it stays fresh sweet woody incensey and that grapefruit moves away but a lot of pepper remains so if you like spicy fragrances you like something unique you think something you want to wear that no one else wears I would look into this one Zadig and Voltaire this is him and this fragrance is really beautiful okay it's just that's the one word I would say it's very unique if Mark is watching I suggest you Take a look at this if you haven't already. This is a very, very interesting fragrance, okay? Zadig and Voltier, this is him. Okay, next one. Perhaps many of you will say, no, this is not an underrated, this very weak fragrance, blah, blah. I understand, but it's my list and this is my sentiments towards this fragrance. This is Armani Code Ice. I tried this three years back. I loved it so much. I went back to the shop. I didn't have cash at the time. I went back to the shop. It was sold off. Uh, I love Armani Code. This is for Armani Code lovers they're looking something of a summer version people says Armani code sport is there there is a Armani code uh, there's another one Colonia is there but I think the sport version and the uh, Colonia version they're not as good as this one because they have the added green apple mint and it's kind of maintain the sweetness it does last nice time it has a subtle sort of uh, projection but it smells really nice so that's what this is all about smelling good people liking it complimenting you 
So this got discontinued now. I think it's worth hunting down this bottle. I don't know if it comes in any bigger bottle sizes. This is 75 ml. And I really love the smell of it. It's tonka. It has that mint, apple. I think got a lot of sweetness of tonka bean in this. It's sweet, fresh kind of a fragrance. More sweet than fresh, but this is a very cooling fragrance, okay? So if you like cooling Armani Code, this is one to look at, okay? Armani Code, ice. Number four. Number three, I promised you I'm going to show you this. I was going to show you this. This is Versace Eau de Noir. Okay, I showed you last time Versace Man. This one and Versace Man, the purple bottle, have similar openings. But at the dry down, they go different ways. This one is a budget version of Tom Ford Oud Oud. Oud Wood. Okay. And also, if you like, uh, say, uh, YSL's uh, Oud Absolute. I think it's called Oud Absolute. M7 Oud Absolute, if you like Royal Oud by Creed, those are big names and they are big hefty price tag on those as well. In this, it's like a $70 kind of cologne. It's a little bit more pricey than the rest of the Versace, but look at that bottle. It's just one of the most gorgeous bottles ever. Golden, black, faded, and it has the same bottle as Versace for them, but this fragrance is so good. It's so masculine, it's spicy, it's woody, and the wood in this is more spicy. Okay, so if you like wood wood, by Tom Ford, but you want more performance at a cheaper price tag with maybe one less zero, <laughs> this is highly recommended by me. I keep pushing this fragrance. It's good to wear any part of the year. It's not as pungent, so you can also wear it in the summertime, cooler summer nights, okay? Perfect suit and tie, masculine up class scent. Versace Oud Noir. That's the name, yes, Versace Oud Noir. <laughs> Number three. Number two is a fragrance I just put one spray off and I just absolutely love it, it's a beast. And I showed you the other flanker that day of 1 million. This is 1 million absolutely gold. I think it's discontinued or hard to find. Much more pricier, but it's worth every penny. I use it in the cold weather time when I need a performer. This will cut through the cold like a chainsaw. <laughs> and the bottle, as you see, is gorgeous. It comes in a beautiful packaging. This fragrance is at added note of uh, more leather, less sweetness. I think there's oud in this. So yes, it's much more premium, 1 million. Premium version of 1 million, much more grown up. So if you want to wear something, it's high class. It has a DNA of 1 million, your favorite 1 million, but you have grown up already to be 30 year old. You can definitely rock this in a business trip with suit and it actually will smell really nice. I like the 1 million preview, but this is my most favorite 1 million uh, version, okay? Number two is 1 million, uh, absolutely gold. And there's an EDP pure perfume concentration, okay? And the last one I'm going to show you, I just recently reviewed it and it's growing on me rapidly. It's a cold weather scent. It's a fun scent. It's kind of like a not formal scent at all. It's a sweet licorice. I think it has a lot of interesting notes. It's very sweet. It's very, very sweet. When you smell it, you get sort of like a coconutty feel, but it's more like a tonka bean and a lot of, I just reviewed it. Check out my individual review. Uh, this fragrance is called Yobom Wild. It has that boozy vanilla sort of thing going. It has that rum note. Um, people compared with uh, Oud, uh, Perry Ellis Oud Vanilla Absolute, which is a clone of, uh, I think, Angelic Noir or Spiritus Double Vinny by Guerlain. This one, I think, is 125 mil. It's ridiculously cheap and it does perform very long. I don't know why people, more people don't talk about it just because it's Yop House, right? Check out this fragrance. I mean, if you see it in a shop, Forget about the bottle, which is gorgeous, I think. It's a beautiful bottle, but check out the smell. This is gonna be appealing to you if you just wanna wear something boozy, sweet in a cold night. It's gonna last and project really beautifully. Yop Home Wild is my last uh, underrated fragrance for the night. Thanks, hopefully you enjoyed the review and hopefully you try out some of these fragrances. I'll do one last episode in upcoming weeks and that will be it, uh, underrated fragrances of from my collection. Take care, good night from Dhaka, Bangladesh, and, or have a nice day wherever you are. Bye-bye.